So I'm going to give you two examples of social entrepreneurs who um, are working on what I think are some of the critical issues of our time. Uh, one is a woman called Oral Atania Zova. Oral received an $8,000 grant from the Global Fund for Women in 1997 um, to help set up her center in Karel, Pakistan on the borders of the Aral Sea. She was a physician who'd begun to note that there was a strong correlation between reproductive um, birth um, uh, defects and problems um, in reproductive health of women and the incredible toxic contamination of the Aral Sea and the, and the soil around the sea. Um, she had never before been given uh, a grant by any kind of formal institution. Um, Uzbekistan, which is where Karal Pakistan is based, was just beginning to emerge from many years of uh, communist dominated rule. And they didn't really have an idea of what an independent NGO or nonprofit organization would look like. Um, we made Oral an $8,000 grant. She bought a van with which she um, expanded her work with rural women all over the area. In 1995, an organization of Mongolian women lawyers had come to the Global Fund for Women asking for a $4,000 grant to spend a year uh, traveling around the country of Mongolia, which was going to have its first open and free democratic election, um, really talking to women in small villages and cities and countries, uh, in cities and towns all over the country um, about what an open democratic process was. What was a ballot? No, your husband didn't have to come in and vote with you. No, your brother didn't have to know who you were voting for. Um, uh, yes, you could actually check the box of the party that you really believed would make a difference. And they had spent a year basically going around the country talking to women about what the process of democratic engagement and participation in an election would be like. And the prime minister was writing to tell me that women had showed up 78% of all eligible women voters voted in that very first election. And they voted overwhelmingly against the um, Communist Party and for the first democratic government in Mongolia. Now, to me, this is what entrepreneurism is all about. This is being willing to both do the work that is involved, but also to take the risk that is involved with doing something that is completely new to a society in which you have had no experience before, but you want to ensure that there can be as wide participation and involvement as possible.